They brought over 100 tractors to central London. One by one, they left in convoy, British flags flying high. Farmers turned out in their numbers, but united behind one message. No farmers, no food, no future. The biggest problem that we face on the farm at the moment is there's no need for our pork because we're bringing it in from other countries. And because we're processing it in the UK, when it comes to supermarkets, putting it down as British product and the Union Jack flag. So the consumers who don't know any different think it's made in Britain and it's not. As more farmers descend on Westminster, the scale of discontent is clear. A warning of increasing food insecurity. British farming is important for the whole world. It supplies your food. It, you need them three times a day. To, for your lunch, your dinner and your breakfast, basically. All your drink, all your vegetables, everything you get comes from farming. Lining Whitehall, these farmers are shining a glaring light on their livelihood. This is unprecedented to see this in the middle of London. Farmers are here targeting Westminster because they want the government to listen. It might be a slow convoy, but they want change and fast. Responding, Farming Minister Mark Spencer says we firmly back our farmers. British farming is at the heart of British trade and we put agriculture at the forefront of any deals we negotiate. But for farmers, this isn't the end. Organiser Liz Bates says there's more to come. Yes, we will be doing more protests or demos, rallies uh, here in Westminster and locally in other towns and cities across the country because we're determined to put pressure on the MPs. This protest has brought the countryside to London. It might have been a slow convoy, but farmers want change and fast. Amelia Harper, Sky News, Westminster.